Welcome to EFTM. Today, tomato sauce. Meat pies, ice cream, chips. A lot of requests, Bowen, for tomato sauce. Yeah. Well, why not? Because we have become the, the leaders in this space, I feel. Yeah, we are Australia's number one comparative taste testers. Our channel, of course, is uh, Facebook. That's the platform we're using. Yep. I don't think anyone else out there is doing what no, we're doing. This is unique. So today, <laughs> this is Australia's number one condiment. Yes. All research here is made up. Yep. Just so you know. Um, Bowen has spent a grand total of about $32. Yes. So what you're looking at here is $32 worth of sauce. Well, it's fair to say that we have quite an array of sauce. Yeah. Some glass bottles, there's some name brands, there's yeah. some home brands. Yep. How do you test it? Now, a couple of bit of feedback we had from Reeve. We're going we're gonna to cleanse our palate yes, with water. Yes, that, that's important. Okay, yeah, everyone just yeah. chill. It's like wine <laughs> What about the people that send us comments saying you didn't do this, you didn't do that? Yeah. Like, seriously? No, I appreciate it. No, no, it's good. I'm happy to learn. Here's what we've done. We've gone to the EFTM Cafe. Yeah. We've got some hot chips. Now, Look at those beauties, hey? Look at those beauties! Admittedly, and I don't think this will affect the, the challenge here, but they, they, they do have chicken salt. On I don't them. care. You all right with that? That's okay. fine. All right. So the plan here is, yeah. um, we've got a plate each, so we just try not to spill too much. Right. I think, because we do, uh, avoid double dipping, it's another piece of feedback we got regularly. Yeah. I think we squirt. Okay. We can okay. <laughs> squirt. And I think the only thing we can do is really just squirt a little bit on the chip and, oh geez, this is going to get messy. All right, so you've started straight off with the Coles, oh sorry, Woolworths tomato sauce. Woolworths tomato sauce. This is their branded tomato sauce. Now, <clears throat> a very immediate flavor there. It's, it's flavorful. Flavoursome. I like it. It's good. It's, it, yeah. Look, I mean, yeah, that's that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. There is nothing wrong with that tomato sauce. Next up. It was a little a, bit trans. This is one of those silly buttons. Button. This is one of those silly ones. This is one of those upside down things. So oh, I hate that. They put the label on a different way. Yeah. You know why though? It's very smart. Because you want the tomato sauce at the bottom. It's like when you when you uh you're sorry, this is a bit it's a bit, you know, delicate, but you know when you, I'll talk to the people at home, you know when your shampoo's running out mm. and, and you turn the bottle upside down for a few days so that it's easy to get it out? That's that's what this is. Yeah, but see, my other issue with this mm. is ketchup. I yeah, mean, very come American. on, very Hines, American. Who come on. Too much talk, not enough chips. Come well, on. By the way, I've done I've done you the favour of removing all of the uh, pre-sealed caps. The caps. Well, that's a solid squirter. You can do it with a, a, a really high degree of accuracy. You know why? Yeah, there's... I don't know if this will show, yeah. but there's a there's a very good plastic kind of sheath in yeah. between mm. the bottle and the cap, mm. which is, I mean, it's, it's actually, that's good value. That's a revolution. Because like, I mean, you know how some bottles you end up with just like half a ton of sauce when you shake just, it up? I, I feel just, like that's delivering it like a shot glass. You know what I mean? You can really wise, control the flow. Like, is that blowing your mind compared to the Woolworths? I think it's a bit more tanging out. Okay. It, it, it has more bitterness to it. All right. Now we're going Australian. I haven't heard of this one. Neither have I. Where'd you get this from? Do you know? That's from Woolworths. Woolworths. Okay. So it's called... I thought uh, Dick Smith was doing Australian this Australian all-natural tomato sauce, gluten-free, 100% Aussie-owned. Does that mean it's Aussie-made as well? Oh, made in Australia from Australia. at least 99% Australian ingredients. Right, okay. I support that. That's good. Um, I've got a problem with this taste test thus far. What's that? It's not really... There's no real difference. Oh. No, there is. There is a difference. Oh, mm, that's different. That's different. You're going to taste that. Let me see. Um, I'm going to say, because I don't, here's, here's breaking news, I don't like tomatoes. You like tomato sauce? Oh. I can't eat tomatoes. I, I, is this more tomato-y? No. Really? What is it then? I feel like it's it's a more balanced mix. Don't you think? Mate, ingredients, tomato puree, 80%. That's the number one ingredient. So yeah, that's what we need to look at. And concentrated tomato, tomatoes in the Heinz mm. and reconstituted tomato puree in the Woolworths. So reconstituted is never a good thing. And, but that's tomato puree. I'm telling you, that's more tomato-y. Yeah, they're actually now, yeah, it's starting to hit yeah, me now. I think, I think you're right, I think you're right. It's more tomato -y. It's also got vinegar in it. That's interesting. What the hell is Colway? Colway, that's from Audi. That oh, is, right, okay. This is the Audi uh, branded okay. sauce. Aldi. Col oh, I haven't. Oh. Now, look, you haven't removed you, the cap well, on that one. You, you were a bit late with the Aldi, so I was doing that while you were at Aldi. I just did a quick run to Aldi to get this we because we can't, because people will blow up if we don't. We, this <laughs> we had a lot of comments going, you have to have Aldi. Yeah, Aldi absolutely. Thing, so. People go nuts for Aldi. All right. We love Aldi. So this is Aldi, Aldi. I'm going to get another chip. There you go. Ooh. I think that's on par with the Australian. 
reconstituted though, 75 percent. See, nothing really stands at out with point, that one, I've got to say. The, the Australian is standing out on flavour. Yeah. The Heinz is standing out a little bit, just mainly because of the packaging. Yeah. Fountain, big brand. No? Yes, but Fountain have let themselves down. They Are used they? to be in these types of bottles, glass bottles. When oh, I was growing up, right. it was, in fact, this is a rip-off of the original Fountain bottle. Okay. What I'm, oh, that's very runny, too. We should uh, we should talk consistency. Yeah, well, that's... That's a very runny sauce. Okay, that's we a, might have well, to Well, maybe it. you have to shake it. Does it say to shake? At the end, we'll do a consistency test. Shake well before you use, Trev. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. You just, Mate, be, you just be careful. <laughs> I'll squirt all over you. Um, oh. Again, it's got a punch. It's got a definite punch. That's the most distinctive taste Taste I've encountered. Is it a so tomato far. taste? I'm trying to understand. I feel I like they're blended in some herbs and spices it's as well. It's also some puree. Um, it's good. It's good. Try it up. It's okay. Rosella. Rosella. What so, is, is that again? Is that an Australian brand? It's iconic. Is it still? Australian? Probably not. I mean, like everything, it'd be owned by some American conglomerate. No, that's standby. Made in Australia from at least ninety-eight percent Australian ingredients with Australian tomatoes. Yeah. Um, I don't know who owns it though, because it doesn't. Yeah. Sell. That can't be. No, you we don't, don't have our hands on that anymore. It's gone really? offshore. Yeah. Think so? I'm just declaring it. Hang it's on. Official. I'll, sorry. I'll, we, now we're going to be judged because we didn't shake the other ones. Mm. I don't think it's going to matter. Well, I'll pre-shake the rest of these. Okay, thanks, That's a thicker sauce. It's a thicker sauce. Oh, look at that. Yeah, see that? that they put a lot of work into thickening that. Hell. Well, I'm liking that. I'm liking what you got there, Rosella. Rosella goes to the front. It's at the front. Look, it's already it's pipped. It's pipped the others. What's this? That's oh, good. Oh, my God. Where'd you get heard, this? I haven't heard of Pops. What's Pops? What is it? This this is Griffith's local. This was in Griffith. You can buy this in tubs like this, bottles like this. Wow. So this is, and I'm just going to confirm here. Yes, Farm 98 Ugali by Griffith. Ugali's just on the outskirts of Griffith. This is what I grew up. So made in Australia from at least 99% Australian ingredients. Ingredients, 88% tomatoes. This is good. Like, yeah, this is good. I don't want to preempt, but this is. I'm sorry, I'm missing the chips. Oh, and I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know that there's a comparative way of showing it, but that's a that's a darker colour. Let me let me. Look. That is how I knew tomato sauce. Oh wow! Yeah, see, that's a that's several shades darker. Oh, as it's a, a very different taste. That's almost bordering on looking like barbecue flavoured sauce. I'm going to argue that's probably the most tomatoey. See that? Mmm. That's it's kind of like dipping a chip in tomato soup. That one. Yep. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So, so it's it's a it's a very flavoursome sauce. If you want your tomato it may, sauce, it may be too tomatoey. If you want your sauce to taste like tomato sauce, that's the go. But I, I think if you want. I'm, hang on, sorry. No, sorry. no, no. If you want your tomato sauce to taste, to taste like, like tomato like, sauce. To taste like tomatoes, that's okay. what I mean. Right. That, that's probably the leader in that area. Gonna, so this way. is the original rip-off of the fountain bottle from oh, Coles. Okay. This is Coles, tomato sauce. Go on, get a chip out. Well, mate, where are you going to do it? There. See, there's a problem with bottles. Look at that. There you that's go. That's a disappointment to me. That's old school. I like it. Coles, 2.5 star health rating. Oh, not awful. Not awful. Oh, shit. Yeah, but, mate, you're probably... You're gonna, mate, you're, you're putting... Oh, I'm just going to call it. You're putting this chip... On other sources. No, that's right. It's problematic. What are your, what are your thoughts? It's Look, fine. That, that's okay. It's fine. Again. So this is a bit. Like this is a bit fancy. What's going on here? This is. Uh, what, what's this one like? It's oh, called yeah. Beerenberg. You see this sort farm. of stuff in fancy. So it's like a fancy hotel. It's hotels. like a craft beer. Yeah, basically. It's, yeah. It's the. It's. It's to tomato sauce what craft beer is That's to exactly right. Phoebe. Yeah, so it's just some family fresh at from home. our farm kitchen. Yeah, they've just knocked up their own. To batch. Your family table. It's a vintage. Thank you, Robert Peach. Mate. Yeah, there's a story behind it. The marketing's great, Robert Peach. Uh, South Australia ingredients: fruit and vegetables, seventy-five percent. Yeah, see. When you well, say I mean, tomato, oh, hang on, tomato, sixty-two percent, onion, and apple. Wow. So, I mean, when is the tomato sauce not a tomato sauce? I feel like that's verging on that. Yeah, this is... That's just a mishmash of so much stuff. This is the problem. This is why Fountain brushed the bottle. Yeah. Are you with me? Look at this. I can't get it out. We'll give it a big... Yeah. You shouldn't need to do that. Go harder. No, I'm going to shake it. Shake Did it. you shake it properly? Not really. I think you didn't. It's like, it's like buddy getting paint from Bunnings. You this... need to break the top seal. It's always oh, a geez, bit... Oh, hello. Yeah. 
Mate, it's a thick sauce. <laughs> well, well, this I'm was... pretty confident I can hold that over here as well. This is unbelievable. That is a thick sauce. Hello! They, yeah, they need to is work, that you, mate? They need to work on their consistency <laughs> because that's just not on. I mean, see, we can't have but that. But see, this action... Yeah. I've missed the chip every time. Right. Let me just clear... This action is very... Put that. Hold on. I'm, can I be honest? I'm nervous. Why? Because as most people know, I don't like a lot of foods. So I fear this is going to taste like tomatoes. Oh, That's everywhere. Again, Luckily, the, the, the colour's way off. I bought a Chuck's. That went on me. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, oh. it's a tomato. Yeah. Yeah, that tastes like... Tomatoes! No, it tastes like chutney. Yeah, listen. It's chutney. Good on them yeah. for producing a genuine... Tomato sauce. Yeah. But as someone who doesn't actually want the taste of tomatoes, fruit and vegetables in his tomato sauce. Yeah, that's. Um, I'm saying no. That's to that. a bit too exotic for me. I mean, it's something you'd put out. That's something you'd put out at a. And you had people around. Yes, that's yeah? right. Yeah. You want to show off. Yeah, sense of occasion. Oh, wow. This is a 3 3. So. Great, three great Australian story. Big advertiser. Oh, big, uh, they sponsor, I think, the DJR Team Penske. That's right, they do. Uh, team, because yep. uh, Fabian Coulthard ran yep. the 333 number at the Mate, last race. They do race. great olives. Let Proudly Australian that. owned. Big yep. fans. Well done. Uh, made to a family recipe. Recipe. 100% Australian tomatoes. Um, ingredients. Australian tomato pulp. Pulp. So again, not reconstituted. Oh, that's all right. That's we're, we're okay with that. That's good. I'm happy with that. Um, okay, so we've got a problem. Oh, no, here we go. Jeez, these chips are good. Yeah, no, they're very good. I'm going hard on that because I reckon I've, this is going to be similar I've to this got, one. No, you reckon? Oh, I don't know. No. Oh, that's. Oh wow, that's a good sauce. Give me more. Oh Jesus! What's wrong? <laughs> oh jeez, hang on. You're taking that one home. By the way, um, look, if you live in the area of the FTM office, look, we've got a few spare bottles of sauce, uh, except for that one, mm. which we probably need to find good homes for. You don't like it or you like it or what? I'm at a loss. I mean, you know what's happened here, Trev? What's happened? <sighs> They're all basically the same. Okay. With the exception, on, stop, stop. Just go back with to the, the exception you know, of this little thing, that's, that's basically chutney. Yeah, put that to the side. That's chutney! We're not, we're not disliking it, we're just disqualifying it. Mm. But, you see that chip? Yeah. That was, a, the well, that was the Woolies. So just put the Woolworths on again, right? I'd cop that. I'd cop it any day of the week, no dramas. So here's the problem for, and we'll get to the prices in a minute. Mm. But here's the, 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 let's just put that aside. Mm. But your three threes, oh, I'm going to say, that is a very flavoursome mm. tomato sauce, which doesn't um, affect my palate because, you know, I'm, I could be affected like I could with that. Yeah. And the back end story about being a family recipe. We love I it. I think it's true. I reckon there is a woman somewhere in a kitchen just making that. Hang on. All right. Are you with me? Yep. But I'll have some more Rosella. I think we went hard on Rosella earlier. You hold on, well, uh, uh, You know what? That one holds on to the chip well. Yeah. Look at the consistency. You know what I mean? Oh, very good. I don't know, mate. Fountain, like, fountain versus Rosella? Man, that's yeah, have, bit, have, a, have some fountain. It's a bit bitter. Have fountain. some fountain. Can you not with the language? Just, mate, there's kids watching. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, fountain is still... Did we shake the fountain? Yep. Really? I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, it's, mate, it's juicy. I can hear it when I shake yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, It's really juicy. Yeah, it's just a juice. The fountain is juicy. Yeah. So, I just look at this. Oh, but it's tasty. Very tasty. There's still plenty of tomatoes in it, but yeah, a lot looser. So I think Rosella is a very good ta taste. I think mm. Fountain is excellent, but probably a bit, bit sloppy. Hang Fountain's on. great, Australian. but I never forgive the them for abandoning the okay. bottle. Wow. Never. Cool. I'm going to go back to the Australian. Unforgivable. Go back to the Australian. Mate. I've just got to try and isolate a chip here. That There's a mean, whole plate of them in. That doesn't mean pre-sourced. I like the Australian. Big fan. Pushing that forward. No, I don't like it. Really? No. Why not? I just feel like they're trying to... Just go one more delicate Heinz, mate. They're just... Oh, jeez. Okay, so this is the great... Look at that. Oh, look at that. No one can see it, but that's okay. What have you done? I was just showing you how it comes out. <laughs> what about the plate of sauce? Look, just, look. Just, this is important. You know. It's important how the sauce comes out. 
Look at that. One steady stream of tomato goodness. Um, but you don't rate it? You don't rate the Aussie? No. No. It's giving me heartburn. Okay, so here's the thing. All right. Where's the Ali sauce? Colway, Colway. It one. was it was not disbarred, right? No. Mate, it's a dollar thirty nine. Yeah. So the, easily the cheapest, I'm assuming. The Woolworths, dollar fifty. Mm. I'm saying that's great value. Well, how much is in there? Five hundred mil. Five hundred mil. I think they're all five, aren't they? Yeah. Doesn't say. Oh, yeah, five hundred mil. Apart from this. Um, one. I'm saying the Aldi and the and the Woolworths. Mm. Well worth your look. There's no doubt. Absolutely. What, what are we paying for Roselli here? Let's look. Bro, the chips are good. Mm, that's all. There's a bit awesome, of sauce awesome. here as well. Um, why is it Roselle? Where's that? Oh, hang on. Coles. Coles. $2.30. Right, okay. That is the second most expensive. So the Beerenberg, just get rid of it. It's $4.75. That's epic stuff, right? Really? $4.75. Heinz, <coughs> Heinz $3.20. Right. I'm not sure you're getting bang for your buck there. No. <clears throat> it's 500 mil. I'll just miss that. It's gone. Okay, on, on. just get rid of it. Don't want to say it again. Horse is there. Yeah. Uh, the pops. Oh, here's, See, here's a challenge. I need to have another crack. People at pops. pops. Is that that's six hundred mil? I should declare. I need to have another crack. At four dollars forty nine. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What about but, the sauce on your But plate? look at the fl the color. Look at the color. Yeah. Bring that here. Like, can you show the? And what I'll do? You know what I'll do? Do I'm it. I'm going to squirt the pops into. And you'll be able to, you'll be able to see. This. Look at the difference. Mm. You can actually see it there. Look at that. Like, what have they done to do that? Like, I need to read the ingredients. What do you think of the pops? Okay. Uh, this For is some reason, it's cold, I'm going to say. This is all tomato. That's all you're getting. Just yeah. tomato. Yeah. Others are blended in spices and sugar and other sorts of things. It's also $4.49. That's mate. basically a chutney. It's, that's the second most expensive one here. Yeah, right, okay. Love your pops. Good on you, you garly. Yeah. Represent for Griffith, but... Bringing that to the big city, Ooh. someone's copping a margin there. Yeah, I'd say so. I yeah. don't think you pay four dollars forty nine in Griffith. Yeah, they must All have right. flown it here. So the cargo three threes. Train. What's three three? Three threes is two dollars ninety nine. Right, and it's definitely not five hundred mils, right? It's two hundred and seventy five. Ooh, see. So again, you're paying a massive premium. Yeah, for that. but you're getting some good sauce there, Trev. I mean, really, I think you just need to have one of these on standby, as you said, for special occasions. Um, Man, yeah, just, you roll that out, you look you look like Australian, you know what you're doing. If, if you roll out this thing, you look like you're a cheapskate. Aussie sauce, $2. $2. For, for, for bang for your buck, that's doing pretty good value. Mm. I like it. All right. Squirt me some. <laughs> no, mate. What's you're being wrong? an idiot now. No, I'm not. You are. These chips are so good. I'm calling it. Just buy the Woolworths or the Aldi. Mate. I agree. There's some great options. Mm. Very fancy, a bit more flavour. Yeah. But mate, my kids are just squirting this on their plate and dipping sausages in yeah. it. So just a lot of chips. I think you're right. Look, yeah. stick to the budget brands. Um, if, if you know, some people just won't let go of the big brands like Fountain. Yeah. I think it's time you, you know, experiment like we have. Well, just just quickly Because it's worth it. Let's compare Fountain at $2. Yeah. You're saving 50 cents, which is essentially 25%. Well, yes. By getting the Woolies or the Aldi. That's right. Mate, at $1.39, shop at Aldi. I think I think we've made the right decisions here, Trev, don't you? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I'm excited that there's these options available. They're just mm. too expensive. And um, what we need now are your suggestions for our next taste test. All right. Well, I mean... That's about as much as we can extract, I assume, yeah. from this particular... Um, I mean, I'll take a couple home. Right, okay. What we, we have, we have a, a draw in our house called Mum's Woolworths. Oh, so, you know when you're at the dinner table, you squirt yeah. out the bloody sauce and, oh, you're running yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Check Mum's Woolworths and they go open the... Mum is so smart, she buys extras of things. She is a So smart there's a couple kid. of bottles of tomato I and like barbecue, that. there's I some like glad that. wrap. There's stuff that you can't, you can't run out of, right? Right. It's in Mum's Woolworths. No. I'd, I'd, I'm putting these in the Mum's Woolworths. You, you have those. You can have those, we'll including the one you drank. Lifetime supply sauce. Three's okay. How long yeah. do they last? What's the expiry? Mate, I've got until the till May 2020 to drink. Yeah, drink I got, that I got one. a January 20. Um, yeah, put them in, in date order so you, so you eat the right one first. 4th of March 2021. I mean, seriously. It will be sweet. Yeah, no, it's all good. So, look, there just, it is. Another great like, EFTM. All the things this. I'd love to do, but I won't, mm. is just... Why would you do that?
there's been a bit of drama. How are you going to clean that up? We need to go now. No, seriously. <laughs>